Welcome back to Let's Play Toho Puppet Dance Performance. I did a little bit of finagling, not as much as I thought I was going to do, but I did buy an item for each one of them to hold. So you can go in, you go down to Item, Give, and then you just go pick an item from what you have, um, such as the hairpins here. And that's what I did, was I just bought a bunch of hairpins from the Kurosame shop that boosted the attack power of each of their primary types. So Nui's got one that boosts Illusion, Oku's got one that boosts Fire, Dios has got one that boosts Nature, um, etc, etc, etc. I also did some very minor... We can also go into Ability Change and swap between Absorbent or Aggressive. I didn't actually change any of those. Um, and then you can also go into Reinforce Stats. I did some very minor reinforcing of stats. Uh, you can hit a button, which is real nice, that shows what everybody's stats will be at level 50. This is super nice because this gives you a baseline, not only for a later game, not end game for sure, but later game, and it gives you a baseline to compare because I can see that, like, Hey, I want everybody's speed to be at least, say, 55. So I boosted everybody's speed up to 55, and then Chen is still just going to knock everybody out, out of the park. But this brought everybody that was, like, super low up, and I could compare evenly. Um, my only issue was there was a point where I did actually... Oh yeah, I put so many points into Spread Attack for Sukuna to get it boosted up to 55. And I'm pretty sure Sukuna is a focus attack. Her. Whoops. Who else? Uh, Sekibanki, I put a whole bunch into spread attack. Because I was boosting up spread attack and sp uh, spread defense, thinking it was uh, um, 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 focus defense and spread defense. And I said, hey, I just want everybody to have this amount. So Spread Attack is Sukuna Spread Attack, and is Seki Banki Spread Attack? These are the important questions that everybody wants to know. No! She is Focus. No! She is Focus. That is a lot of wasted stats. And wasted, I will say, not just because it cost um, cost me PP to put it in, but I have a max. I can only put 130 points in total across all stats. So that's 30 of my 130 borked. I think there is a way to get those points back. But I'm not going to worry about it too much because neither Sukuna nor Sekibanki are going to be in my final team one way or the other. Though I'm probably going to be holding on to them for at least a little while. I also got Nui up to level 19. Um, take a look at her. I did manage to catch a second Nui to see if her IVs were better than this one's IVs, and they weren't. And by the time I got this Nui up to 19, I didn't care anymore. So I'll just deal with um, IVs that aren't as amazing as they could otherwise be. And she knows Jack-O-Lantern and Struck by Lightning, mostly. She also knows Thunder Veil, in case I want to paralyze somebody. So that's cool stuff. Cool beans. Pew pew. So, now that we're actually here, let's travel Route 3, and by Route 3 I mean go in. So I, I may keep this fight in just to show you um, new way actually really does not do well against the random encounters in this area because they're like all friggin sound based which Nui is weak to Drain Seed at least is one of the better options. I can still probably two-shot Ben Ben at this point So I only took that little bit of damage but like anyone, at any time, they can just decide, like, I'm going to use a sound element attack and one-shot you. Thanks. Okay, so it doesn't one-shot me, but it does a lot of damage. Kind of like, third of my HP. Kokoro! 
So Kokoro is void fighting. What can I do against you? I want to hit you with wind or sound. I do not want to hit you with illusion. All right, so electric it is. Um, actually nullifies illusion. Man, Nui, you're great, but why do you gotta be so bad in this particular area? Also, when I swapped out um, Kokoro for Nui. Just because, honest goodness, Kokoro wasn't the best puppet that I could run across at that, or that I could have. At least for what I want to know. <laughs> I did it. I made it. I made it out of the grass. That was a horrible experience. Okay, continuing on. Little more grass. Got a sign. So Ainte, if we're going to it, is through the bamboo forest of the loss. So that's where we're headed. Eventually. I don't know, let's head down here, I guess. Ew. Um, beat him up. Oh, there is something back here. And a little oops. can't drink the tea. I want to drink the tea. Fine, be that way. Maybe something the potted plant? Something the other potted plant? Fine, be that way. Don't give me anything. It depends on the puppet. Chen. I'll believe that. Okay, so Chen is... takes double damage to electric! She's also really friggin' fast. Oh, thank you heavens for not one shotting me. Yes! Kagero. Now, Kagero, we have not yet seen. She is dark wind and takes double electric damage. Assuming I get to go first, which I probably won't. Dang it! You want to hit her with a uh, light, or no, not light. Uh, light, steel, or electric. Um, speaking of steel, she takes four times damage to steel. Oh, and that confusion is part of Nue's ability. Um, whenever Nue gets hit by a focus attack, there's like a 25% chance that it confuses the opponent. I'm good, thanks. But I appreciate the offer. So there's an item over there, we can't get to it. Yep. And Nui's dead, so I'm gonna run back and heal her. So that guy up there we can't actually get to. Now. But if we head over to the west, we'll find this is the entrance to... Well, at least, at least it takes us on our way to the bamboo forest. Maybe. Depends what you got. Kotohime! Okay, Kotohime is not actually bad. Because she nullifies illusion, so I have to hit her with electric. Not the best. But thankfully, she doesn't have something that can just wreck me. She can't just go, okay, I'll just sound you to death, I guess. Yay! Okay, so now that item we can't actually get. Give me your item! Okay, now I... that's where... that eventually takes... this is kind of another area to run around in first, but that'll take us to the Bamboo Forest of the Lost, which will take us to Ainte. We are not going that way. We are going up here, where it said... 
Mioran Temple is this way. Can I talk to you? Alright. Admittedly, they are pretty cute. Look at them. You should probably get some puppets, though, to defend yourself from yokai attacks. Oh boy, Kane. Okay, so Kane is steel. I want to hit her with fighting, earth, or fire. She takes half damage to illusion, but normal electric. So let's go with that for now. They just don't kill me. It's a crap. I also got a new skill. You got Thieving Wind. Ooh. Nice wind. And you are just nature, so you don't get stabbed for it, though. So, oh, whatever. I mean, okay. Ben Ben. Ben Ben's not bad. Uh, ben Ben will still probably kill me. Ben Ben can very easily kill me by using Howling. Honestly, just about anything. Okay, so Ben Ben, you want to use Wind. So, hey, it's been a while since we brought out Chen. And Chen's been keeping up on the levels for a while now. Different pu puppets do level up at different rates. Just like in Pokemon. Ooh, Yatsuhashi! Still win. Just like in Pokemon. So, something to keep in mind. So you get some that level up super quick. Like a uh, Diose. I, like, never even used Diose. Okay, that was uh, Kyoko. Kyoko is still win. And now Chen got a new skill. Everywhere. Wrong one. Chen got Wind Wave. Ooh, 30%... Uh, 15 SP. Power 75. As we all know, though, an accuracy of 95 means it effectively has an accuracy of zero. Something to keep in mind, though. Oh, and New A's down. Ah, fine, I'll go heal. Kareen right past you, and hey, there's a kid down here. Fine. Miss ya! So Miss ya is sound dark. Take neutral to illusion and electric, so let's go with illusion. Weep to steel and fighting and light. And of course your sound, because why wouldn't you be your mischief? That's what you do. Kyoko! Okay, Kyoko, we've already caught four. Just hit it with an illusion. Hope she doesn't use something sound based. Dang it! Look, the only reason I keep leading with Nui is because I want to level up. But Nui is not good for this area. Hey, speaking of leveling up. Okay, so... Do you want to fight me? Good old yokai Jesus. I can't talk to you or respect you or anything. 
And that brings us to the Mioran Temple. Now there's not a lot we can do here right now. But... Hey, get back. Yeah, look at how friendly these people are. I mean, I'm not really sure what Biakaran was thinking. So this is the residence of Biakaran, also known as Yokai Jesus. She runs a Buddhist shrine. And she was the final boss of one of various Toho games. Crap, which one? Was it 10? I don't know. I will never remember. Na Mu San! So she wants um, humans and yokai to be equal and everything. And of course the yokai are the ones that, in her time, yokai were the ones that were hunted. Oh no, she's not around. So she became a big yokai supporter. Um, like, she just wants equality at the end of the day. But she was supporting that which was lower on the totem pole. Of course, in this day and age, the tables have turned a little bit, where the yokai are generally the ones hunting the humans, but she came back still a little pro-yokai, and that um, caused some problems. But you may have noticed up here that there is some grass. Yes, there's more here to catch! And if you go higher still the, into the Muran Temple Cemetery, there are even some trainers! Until next time, everybody, we're gonna hang around with some dead folks and catch some more puppets.